Here's a harsh truth. You will never become a millionaire if you keep watching those videos. They all want to sell you a training or a masterclass on how to make more money, while the only way they made true money was by selling you these courses in the first place. Like my grandma was saying, if it feels like a Ponzi scheme and it looks like a Ponzi scheme, it's probably a Ponzi scheme. You see, last year, I made $10 million cash in my bank account. Yet, in 2018, I had failed three businesses, I was broke, and my girlfriend was paying the rent. But I decided to take a leap of faith and invest the thousand dollar I had left on my bank account into one idea, a SaaS business. Two years later, I had built two successful SaaS businesses and I sold one of them in a seven figure deal. And in 2021, my business was valued at $150 million and I sold some shares for millions of dollars becoming a multimillionaire before 30. In this video, I want to share with you two ways to become a millionaire with a SaaS business. One where you have to sell entirely your business and the other one without selling your business. The first way to become a millionaire is to grow your SaaS business to at least $28,000 in monthly recurring revenue and then sell it. Why $28,000 in monthly recurring revenue? Because it means you're generating around $336,000 in annual recurring revenue. And since there's a rule of thumb that says that profitable SaaS are sold anywhere between three times to 10 times their annual recurring revenue, it means you'll be able to sell your SaaS anywhere between $1 million and $3 million. In this video, I'll focus on the process of becoming a multimillionaire with your SaaS, but if you want to know how to grow your SaaS, I've made a couple videos about it. Now, let's get to business. How can you sell a SaaS? Huh? Pita. How can you sell a SaaS, Pita? By eating ice cream. Ice cream. Well, you have multiple options when selling a SaaS, like direct sales, marketplace, auction, or going through like a broker. And today I want to talk about selling through a direct sale. A direct sales means that you either sell your company by yourself by reaching out to a buyer, or they come to you asking to buy your company. The advantage versus other option, one, you can reach out to the seller you want. Second, you take 100% of the money, meaning that you're not going to give a percentage to a broker or a marketplace if you're using a platform. Third you learn the most about selling a business and designing creative deals. Let me give you an example. Laura Roder was able to sell her SaaS for seven figure with this cold email. After six years of growing her company, Meet Edgar, to millions of dollars in annual recurring revenue, she decided it was time to sell the company so she could work on other projects. And her process is actually super easy to reiterate. She made a list of micro private equity firms that had previously bought profitable SaaS businesses doing single digit millions in annual recurring revenue. Then she sent each of them this email. I've decided to sell my SaaS business, Meet Edgar, and we're currently looking for the best match for the new owner. Let me know if you'd like me to keep you updated. Thanks, Laura. It works because one, it's very sharp, straight to the point, and her message is summed up in one sentence. Second, it's not pushy, and she's using the push-pull approach, letting them know she's selling, and basically that she won't bother them if they're not interested in buying or getting updates. Third, since she knows she's targeting the right kind of firms, her message is on point, and intriguing. Thanks to that one simple cold email, she got a lot of answers from the targeted firms. And if they showed interest, she sent them some top line numbers in order to set up a call to go further into the negotiations. With that strategy, she ended up selling her company in a seven figure deal to SureSwift. If you want to know more about how using merger and acquisition firm or brokers to sell your SaaS, I actually made a video about it. But the second way to become a multimillionaire is to sell some shares of your business. Let me explain this a bit further. A few years ago, I went through a public funding round of $20 million and after receiving offers, I publicly declined. My goal was to show people that you could grow a successful SaaS without funds and to bring awareness to bootstrap businesses. But when I was doing the funding round, a lot of investors reached out to me about investing in my business. And one email got my attention. It was from Oliver, managing partner at Expedition Growth Capital. And here's why. He sent me an in-depth presentation about Lemlist, studying the competition, the opportunities, and he even did interviews with some of our customers. And the main difference with the other firms, he offered me $30 million where $15 million was in cash in and $15 million was in cash out. Because I didn't want to raise, I said no. But I had no clue what cash out was. Basically, in classic fundraisings or cash in, the money goes directly into the company's bank account to fuel the growth of the company. In secondary, the money will go directly into your pocket as a founder and after taxes, obviously. In both cases, you're selling shares of your business so you 
get a specific valuation. In cash out, the valuation you get is close to the real valuation of your business because you're getting cash directly as a founder. But in cash in, the valuation can get totally uncorrelated with the actual value of the business. That's because the investors believe that with the money they added to the company's bank account, you'll be able to grow your company a lot faster, sell it, and generate a return anywhere between 2x to 100 times their investment. That's why fundraising put a lot of pressure on founders. You're forced to spend a lot of money to drive growth, and that is not always sustainable. Plus, it does not make you a millionaire since it's not your personal money, even though a lot of people think it is. Coming back to that cash out story, I ended up accepting a new offer to sell 20% of my business for $30 million and then becoming multimillionaire before I turn 30. I hope you enjoyed that video. Peace, love, and profit.